there and welcome to another Huxley Spatial Quick Demo. This quick demo is to illustrate a little bit more depth uh, how to work with symbology when you're wanting to symbolize something specific, in this case population data. Alright, so here we have Whatcom County which is the north and westernmost county in Washington State. In order to work with the symbology here, uh, we're going to go and click on Whatcom Census, which is what we want to symbolize, and we're going to go to Properties. Now here I can either symbolize using unique values, but I want to symbolize specifically something that's quantitative. So I'm going to use graduated colors to illustrate uh, how dense the population is. So I want to use population in 2000. If you want to use something like a normalization uh, to work with your value, you can choose as a, popular, as a part of the total. So in this case I might say females as a part of the total and I would get something like this, or I could use a racial or uh, some other sort of form of subpopulation within the larger population. In this case, I'm just going to go for your standard uh, population representation. So, As you can see here, uh, we need to add some classification to this. So I'm going to add four classes to this. It breaks it down into those four classes for me. If you'd like to go more in depth with your classes, you can click on classify and you can work with different types of classification. A natural breaks is the one that's probably most common and it works with the natural breaks within the data. So the natural lulls in these numbers we're seeing. Uh, you can see the break values here and alter them by hand in this column. I'll be leaving mine alone for now. So now that I've gotten this broken down, I can click Apply. Okay, And as you can see, very dense areas of population here, while out in this more rural part, it's a little more uh, less dense. Alright, so that's basic symbology and symbolism with population. Thank you for watching.